Part 4, The Trans-Theoretical Model. In Part 3, you learned relationship building and empathy skills. In this part, you'll learn how about the trans-theoretical model, which will allow you to understand a patient's readiness to change a health behavior. This module will be taught by Dr. Wern. So I want to talk for a few minutes about the trans-theoretical model. Uh, who's heard of the trans-theoretical model before? Trans-theoretical model. Stages of change? Stages of change model, anybody? OK. Uh, OK. Um, the stages of change model, or the trans-theoretical model, is, is a model that basically says that as people begin to think about changing a behavior and actually move towards doing something about changing the behavior, they go through different stages, okay? So stage one is called pre-contemplation. Pre-contemplation, you're not really even thinking about it. Okay, you may know what it is, you may not even know what it is. You may not, you know, say you're a smoker, and for some reason you just don't know that it's really a problem. Or maybe you have a vague sense that it is, yeah, but you haven't really thought much about it because you don't really want to think about it. Um, and so, you know, it's not really on your radar screen. You don't have an intention of making a change. Okay? That's somebody in pre-contemplation. And you're going to meet people like that. You're going to have people like that in, in the visits with you. Okay. Um, about 20% of, I'm sorry, about 40% of patients roughly are in pre-contemplation on any given health behavior that we know isn't good for you. Okay. Um, the next stage is called contemplation. Okay, contemplation is where another about 40% of people are that have unhealthy behavior, uh, uh, an unhealthy behavior of some type. So contemplation is where they're thinking about it. Okay, they would like to make a change but they're not sure how to make a change oftentimes. They're, they're oftentimes really mired in that ambivalence I was talking about. So they're, um, uh, they're weighing out, I really enjoy eating, but on the other hand, I really need to lose these pounds. And back and forth, you know? And so um, that's where a lot of people are who are in contemplation. They would like to make a change, ideally within six months, uh, but they need some help. And you can really help these people. Um, so that's another 40% of people who have unhealthy behavior. So that's 80% right there. Okay? That's where most of the people that you're going to be working with or seeing are, are going to be at. The next stage is uh, preparation. And Preparation is when they're actually getting ready to make a change. And they plan to make a change in about a month or so. And um, so that's about 20% of people. And this is kind of uh, fun, I think, to work with people in preparation because um, they're ready to do something, you know? So now you're in the action planning stage with them. And it's like, let's, let's uh, get it together here and do it, you know? So they, want to, they usually want to talk about what they want to do. They want to get input on it. They want to think about it. They want to plan. And um, so you know, this is where you can, you can certainly be helpful with, the, with these folks. But there are you know, about 20% of people who haven't made a change are in preparation. Um, so uh, some of the things that you can do is, is help them clarify why do you really want to make this change, what's important about making this change for you. And they can list the reasons they're really motivated to make that change, okay? Um, and you can help them develop confidence by asking them, have you ever made changes before in things that were difficult for you? And they can then think back about changes that they made. And then we're gonna talk about SMART goals, which are uh, a way to set meaningful goals for people that are measurable and actionable, okay? Uh, we'll talk about that in a little while. Um, you can help people in preparation identify risk situations. You saw that in the smoking video. Uh, help people say, you know, where is it going to be toughest for you to, to quit smoking? It's that first cigarette in the morning for some people. Other people, it's something else. A uh, lady in the video said, you know, it's with her morning coffee. It's best to 
identify those kinds of things beforehand um, so that they're not caught in the moment off guard. Okay. Um, and develop plans for what happens if you fail, what happens if you have that cigarette. Uh, what you would like is for them to just go right back to quitting um, and, and get right back up on the horse. Okay, and then the other stages are action. So people who are already making changes, I'm not really talking about them because they're already doing something, but you can support them. It's very important to support them. Um, and then maintenance is, is after they made the change and it's been successful and it's holding on. Uh, and termination is when they're not even tempted to do the old behavior again. Uh, but those are things that you know are a little less relevant to health coaching. So, um, okay, so that's the uh, trans theoretical model. So, um, that's the trans theoretical model. So that you can, as you see patients, put this template on what you're seeing, okay? So, you can say, hey, this patient is in pre contemplation. Okay, they're not really ready to make a change at this point. They're not really even thinking about making a change at this point. Okay, so with this patient, what I'd like to do is ask them questions like, how do you know when it'll be time to think about making a change? Okay, you're not going to push them. You're just going to ask them good questions like that. Okay, people in contemplation, you can help them work through their ambivalence, help them identify both sides of this coin. Okay, and what they're dealing with, why it's important to change. Okay, and what are the benefits of doing that? What would it take to make a little change? The small steps we were talking about earlier. How could you develop a little bit more confidence? And changing and and we'll use the ruler to do that and then the people in preparation um, is more like uh, the smoking video so you're getting ready to change helping them make those those take those steps that they need to take uh, to have successful change in summary the trans theoretical model will help you characterize a patient according to their readiness to change health behavior. Most patients that you'll meet will be in the pre-contemplation and comp contemplation stage. And knowing what stage the patient is in will help you in discussing and in, in, in deciding how to discuss behavior change with the patient. Thank you.